such a poxy day, right? Let's say what happened, right? I come clean. I've got a young lady friend, right? Who was having trouble. She was married. I don't mind that she was married. And she was having trouble with her husband, right? And she, I comforted her. I gave her the wonderful warm arm of comfort, right? That's always my excuse. No, it's a warm arm of comfort, <laughs> right? <laughs> but what happened is some of her husband's family found out, and her mother-in-law phoned me up. Her mother-in-law phoned me up, and she was going, on, oh, you've been knocking around with my son's wife, you, and all this. And that. Oh. I'll tell you what, you've got the Queen on your telephone, right? You're in serious trouble. <laughs> Seriously, because she goes on and on and on. Millsy, Millsy. And I'm going, don't call me Millsy. Only my friends call me Millsy, you Royal Highness. So I'm doing that. <laughs> like, I didn't mean to because I was on the phone, but I'm still bowing like an idiot. I'm not bowing like an idiot. I'm bowing like a pretty cool guy, really. But you know what I mean? I've got to tell you this. I've discovered the most fantastic thing I can do with the magic microwave. You know, it's the most fantastic machine in the whole world, right? Well, apart from the Concord and Tardis. But look at this I can do, right? Take this beautiful picture there. Look at that. Now that's... Here, yeah, you think Louise from Eternal Sex, right? That's the sex <laughs> from the British Broadcasting. Fantastic one. The thinking man's crumpet, as she was, old Joan was described that. Right, you put that in there, right? And you take with it a picture of this lady here, and I use the term lady very loosely. There she is there. <laughs> the Royal Highness. Whoa, that's an old photo. Right, you get that. You put that in there, right? And then you program it, 2221... Six 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 four five three. Start. Bing. There you go. Look at that beautiful, fresh, tasty to eat. A lovely Bakewell tart. Look at that. Fantastic. <laughs> Isn't that absolutely fantastic? <laughs> what have I got in the cupboard? What's in the cupboard? Uh, oh yeah, look at this. Look, this is beautiful. If people come around my house, right, and say they want to have a shower, wash their hair, always give them that. Look at that original Linko beer shampoo. Beautiful shampoo. <laughs> And I give them that, and it brings their hair, makes it shine very good for anything from dry right through to, to uh, greasy hair. It's lovely. If Welsh people come, right, I'll just give them that. They don't know, they don't know the difference. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, they all still go, oh, there's a soap. Soap, they're amazing. I've got, the I've got a machine where water comes out of the sky. Oh, that's fantastic, that lake. <laughs> and uh, oh, the other thing, I've got, I'm about to buy this especially because I'm having a bit of a dinner party on uh, Sunday. and... Not just normal people are coming, but the likes of Scylla Black is coming, uh, Bob Monkhouse is coming, Brucey was there. There's a word, right? I shouldn't say this, but there's a word that Lionel Blair might even turn up. So obviously I've had to buy this for them, just uh, this is celebrity meatloaf, just for them. <laughs> Only they'll be allowed to eat that, none of the common people will. Uh, oh yeah, this book's come out, and I, I was, uh, The Long Walk to Freedom. And it's the autobiography of uh, a gentleman you might have heard of, Mr Nelson Mandela. Uh, one of the great leaders of our time, and I'd forgotten all about it. I genuinely had forgotten uh, that I'd ever met him. But uh, in fact, he's very kindly printed a picture of it in the book of the uh, of the wonderful time when we met. Uh, he came to visit me. I mean, when I was a small child, uh, when I was living in New York, <laughs> welling up, ladies and gentlemen. It was a wonderful moment that was. Uh, oh, here's a photo one of my celebrity friends sent me. Uh, a photographer gave it to him and he said, oh, I've sent you a copy. That's Tom Cruise there. And that's me and Tom when we were getting it on, doing a bit of knife fighting. <laughs> Over in New York, that's lovely. That's fantastic. And this fantastic product, which I've, uh, I'm, 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 not only uh, do I buy it, I've actually bought up the rights to the company. I'm going to market it as well. It's fantastic. Can you see this? It's Raid. It's Ant Bait. <laughs> but what a fantastic thing. It kills ants. For three months. <laughs> After 12 weeks, they just get up again and go back on their bike. Fantastic. Temporary ant killer. Marvellous stuff. Now, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll hang around for half an hour or so, and then I've got to shoot off, because uh, the lads from Shed 7 are waiting outside in the car. Uh, I ordered a big limo, and then it turns out there's only four of them anyway, so it's a stupid name for the band. Um, normally this time of night, obviously, I'd be uh, out and about. Well, I've done right. I've, I've, I've dropped a bit of a bollock, really, because I've took a, I took advantage of the council's uh, scheme where you can buy your own council flat. If you've lived there for a few years, you can buy your own council flat. So I bought my right. I've got it really cheap. It's only £27,000. But obviously now I've become, I'm responsible for repairs myself. And there's a little bit of work I've got to do on it, obviously. <laughs> little, just a little bit of making good, really. A little bit of pointing. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'll manage it eventually, but... I had an estimate off my mate Billy, right? He does things cheap, cash, no VAT. He reckons we could whack it out for... Well, he said it'd be about three and a half million pounds. <laughs> I'll knock him down there. I'll get a little bit off that, but... 
It'll be lovely when it's finished. 